back to another episode of Level Up Video Games. We are almost caught up on customer repairs. We got that PS4 controller to take care of. There is the Sega Genesis is back in here. Uh, they want the cap replaced, but that's gonna be a while. And then I just gotta start cleaning up this area. But I'm thinking about doing a transition. Essentially this kind of console area is kind of full at this point, but I'm starting to get like retro, retro, like old video game consoles. Maybe like some of the Segas, some of the like first to third gen Segas in here. So I'm going to start moving some of this stuff from this shelf to somewhere else. And then I can start putting the Sega Saturn over there. Um, I can test this uh, Model 2, but I can't, conf I don't have AV cables for it. So... We're just going to start clearing some of this out today after we're done with this PS3. These games have been sitting here for way too long. I want to get them out of here and out on the shelves. They're opening up a little bit later than normal because I had to take care of a bunch of stuff and drop it off at Goodwill. But then I was like, man, I think I forgot something. That green tote's full of stuff and I forgot to grab it. So, uh, yeah, we needed to, to drop that off as well. This has a bunch of like... Third party cables, a couple Wii's that don't work. Like, just so much stuff. This is my $3 bin, maybe become $1 bin. There's just like some Atari controllers, some mics, a third party Super Nintendo controllers, some charge cables and stuff. If this stuff doesn't sell anytime soon, it'll go into the green bin. And then uh, we'll essentially continue starting over. Started right now. I got to get going. It's There's still a lot to do. Knocking out stuff. Just like getting, organizing, kind of figuring out what's going on. But we got through quite a lot of systems. Look at this. Look at this. Much better. This week can go back up here. So we processed through and we already tested those N64s. Both PlayStations. The bottom one doesn't have the... Um, Hard drive cover, I got a couple coming. Same thing for this one, but this one's technically still a customer's. I'm going to give them like one more month and then I'm going to take it. The Wii U does turn on. I haven't tested all the way. These are repairs, customer repair, a bunch of testable controllers, like a boot, a brand new game, another game, board game that I bought. We have been uh, kind of just playing Parasite Eve on the PlayStation 1, off the PlayStation 3 backwards compatible console. Uh, and it's been working. I have no issues. It's not freezing. So, and so far, I actually was very surprised at the gameplay of this. I'm not really sure how the battle system worked in this game, if there was one, if it was more like Resident Evil or something. But it's actually like a turn-based action, like, system, which is crazy. Started organizing this a little bit, which is probably going to become our retro shelf when I start getting a little more retro video games. But we got the complete Atari with all the games, manuals, and everything. And then we got our Sega Saturn right here. That one's, of course, been tested. And then we got the Sega Saturn. This is the 3D controller. And then we got the Wii U controller, Pro Controller out. Uh, a couple games, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, and we did put the uh, the strategy guide for Final Fantasy VII right over here. Um, I just don't have enough room on any of the shelves right now to put it anywhere else. Let me reorganize these a little bit more, try to space in some of the loose stuff maybe into the shelves because a lot of people just don't even see this. So I need to get this over here a little bit. Pretty much rearranged this whole entire rack. We got Sega Genesis games. We got some Sega Dreamcast, uh, PS3s. We moved a little and then we got the PS2, all the loose discs up here. And then we just got that going all the way up. And then 
Xbox, Wii games loose. So, and then we got the one Wii U game right there. We got the loose GameCube game. So we, we put everything kind of here and there's the loose 360 games. So hopefully that'll be a little easier for people to see. And then I might be able to move some of this stuff now over to this rack and kind of organize this a little. Now, uh, I decided that I'm gonna be keeping the backwards compatible PS3 with the box. I now just have, you know, time spent on Parasite Eve and it's saved here now. So quite enjoying the game and been playing it for a little bit and now I kind of want to continue playing it. So we're, we're just going to keep it on the PS3 and I'm going to put the PS3 in the collection at this point. Don't be mad. I think I ended up paying like max like 72 bucks for that, that system anyways. So, you know, that's a really good price. Also means to complete this we need a copy of metal gear solid 4 plus a controller at this point which i think i have a couple controllers in the room so that's going to be easy i'll have that game because uh, it, it really doesn't sell that well and it's kind of a cheap game but now i have to find one to complete that uh box it's not in my m's not in my m's like the playstation 2 i got like four different metal gear solid games some more of the standard retail stuff that's been sitting here for a while we added these guys over here this is a now a blank shelf um and so is that so we have a little bit more room probably going to keep this open for more systems and consoles that are newer and that i don't have room for like a lot of sega stuff i may eventually have to move these and those but <clears throat> yeah it's it's looking good a little reorganizing is never bad we still need to process through some of these uh, Sega Saturn games. We got Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom and then these PlayStation games. Um, <clears throat> but I think I'm going to take care and clean this in 64 really quick. So if you guys haven't noticed, we sold the um, Power Rangers bot over there. We actually just sold it to a customer. He saw it. He wanted it. I gave him a price and he took it. So, unfortunately, I just could not find, at a decent price, the arms for it. There was a lot of pieces missing, but it was really cool to finally get it and give it to someone that is totally more passionate than I am about it. We're working on this uh, Xbox 360 S model, but it's having some disc tray issues. So, I got some rubber rejuvenator. We're going to open it up. We're going to put it right in there on that little rubber o-ring that helps open and close the xbox 360 um and we might do it a couple times with some other stuff as well there's some xboxes behind us that have been sitting and they just they have the disc tray issue and i'm gonna see what this rubber rejuvenator could do now i just bought this stuff off of Amazon, so I'm just gonna put some on there and I'm gonna essentially close the tray a little bit like so just so it kind of essentially rolls. And then we're just gonna let that do its thing. Now it might might be stinky, but look at that disc tray go. So much better already. So this 360 needs a controller, HDMI, and this thing's good to go. All right, so we got a little bit of stuff organized. We essentially put boxes back here with the controllers for the systems, um, just to make it a little bit easier on myself with consoles themselves and save some room up there in the back and then um we kind of organized this a little bit we did get this little trade in some 360 games and a ps playstation game tony Hawk's pro skater 2 bioshock skate and shadow run they're all complete um we will be cleaning up and getting through these xbox 
consoles and then starting to get through those controllers as well. Still got a lot of work to do. I'm trying to organize a little bit, getting some of the 360 con like older consoles over here and trying to organize and figure out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. Fortunately, we did not get the Sega Saturn games in the system yet, but they will be added probably tomorrow. Same thing with the PlayStation games. For me today, thank you guys for watching. Until tomorrow, don't forget to level up.